Tarot here with your monthly love scope for the zodiac sign of Taurus, sun, moon, and rising for the month of January 2019. Let's see what's happening with you, Taurus. Spirit and universe, what are the messages you have for the zodiac sign of Taurus, sun, moon, and rising for the month of January 2019? Remember, Taurus, you are deep in the vertex right now. So uh, the vertex brings up a lot of uh, karmic issues or karmic lessons that were not complete in previous situations that you may have found yourself in. Uh, leading up to the vertex. Um, I don't feel like you guys are getting it too hard. A lot of you Taurus are already settled down in their relationships. It could just be that a lot of your relationships are coming under threat. Okay, with third party energy. So definitely watch out for that. Could be exes that return from the past, or it could be that you've begun to take your lover for granted and spirit has created a, a catalyst for you to leave your partner. Okay. Um, a catalyst meaning that they may have, because you're not happy or you claim to not be happy in your current situation, then, you know, maybe you've created this third party that has come in and have given you a way to let go of your current partner. I would be aware of that. Okay. Two, three, one. Here we go, Taurus. First card out. We got the Six of Pentacles. The Six of Cups. And the Knight of Pentacles. Under the Six of Pentacles, we got the Tower. Under the Six of Cups is the Five of Wands. Under the Knight of Pentacles, we have the King of Swords. Under the tower is the Wheel of Fortune. This is the Vertex. I told you. We got some changes that's going on. Under the Five of Wands is the Four of Cups. Under the King of Swords is the World. Okay, the overall energy is the Two of Swords. All right, so I kind of get the sense that you're very confused in this Vertex. You don't know if you're coming or going. We have the Six of Pentacles, the Tower, and the Wheel of Fortune. <clears throat> I, this is playing real heavy in my ears, Taurus. Um, I kind of get the sense that maybe there's a, there's a possibility that you owe a friend. You may owe a friend some money, um, but you're having a hard time making that money. You might need to... Um, <sighs> I, I'm going to tell you this. Whenever you borrowed from this person... Everything may have been going good. And then all of a sudden, the Wheel of Fortune hits. And it's kind of like you're having a hard time working up this money. Um, you might need to pay them because this could really destroy a friendship. Also, um, this King of Swords being here. When you owe a King of Swords, they're all about justice and enforcement. So they're going to get what they owe out of you. Okay? And then it might be that, like I said, you destroy your chances of ever being able to uh, borrow from this person ever again. You got the five of wands here in the middle. So this could be uh, fights or arguments that take place between you and this person. All right. Um, yeah. I, I can't even say that you should talk to them because they don't care about the situation. They just want what, what's owed to them. Another thing that I see that's going on in the zodiac sign of Taurus, um, maybe you're coupled with an Aquarius or a Libra individual. Um, we have the Knight of Pentacles here. So this talks about uh, building, the building of this relationship. There's a possibility this relationship could end because it kind of represents that after this vertex, uh, this connection that you have with this Libra or Aquarius, it's finished. It'll be finished. Okay. Um, your, your lessons, your karmic lessons together will be finished. So there, you know, that could cause somewhat of a breakup as well with that world card being there. You have the six of cups, the five of wands and the four of cups. So I'm definitely feeling that uh, there could be. Oh, there's there's so, something like, between friends, something between friends. Let me, let me look at that. There's a problem between friends. Clarify the six of cups. 
the world. Tell me more. This is endings. You got a lot of endings with friendships. There could be a falling out between you and a friend. The Nine of Swords. Clarify that Nine of Swords. Six of Swords. And the Hangman. Something definitely needs to end with someone. If you had a long-standing relationship, Taurus, with someone, you've been with somebody for a very long time, it kind of represents that at this moment, um, approaching this vertex is, is an ending, okay? So um, what, what ends up happening, if you have somebody that you've been with for a very long time, they, they were your karmic soulmate, you may have had a 10-year contract on that person, maybe 15 years on that person, okay? And you're approaching your 10th year or your 15th year. OK, and what spirit is saying is that it's time to now cut ties and move forward. All right. Um, in the event that you stay with this person past the allotted time that spirit gave you with this individual, then it's going to feel like um, there's no growth. We have the four cups here and it kind of represents that you're already starting to feel that energy like this shit is just not working. Nothing they do is good enough and you no longer want it because it's not there's no growth there. OK, so the growth process is approaching its end. So towards the end of January, uh, you may begin to fall out of your relationships. OK, and maybe even move forward with something else. Clarify that world card. The devil and the moon. See, this is that karmic contract that's coming to an end. Clarify that moon card. The lovers, tell me more. There could already be somebody else in place that you're looking at. Yep, two of pentacles, see? Um, it kind of looks like one karmic situation is ending, Taurus, and you're, the other one is already there in sight for you to move forward with this person. Give me that two of pentacles. Water sign. This is water sign energy, okay? So... If you are Taurus, if you happen to be with Aquarius or Libra and you've been with that person for a very long time, you guys are approaching your end. It's an end to the karmic contract and you could be moving forward with another karmic soulmate that's coming in that happens to be a water sign. So this is Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. Um, this person is already in gear and in place and ready for you, ready to take you to, through the next step of your life. OK, if you have a hard time, because Taurus usually has a hard time with letting go of the past. OK, they 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 will stay with a partner for forever. OK, if they could. All right. Even though they're no longer happy with this person. Uh, what's going to start to happen is spirit is going to begin to take from you. So it's going to, they're going to make it sort of impossible for you to stay with this person. Okay. So they'll create all kinds of obstacles for you to get moving. Okay. Sort of like kicking you out of the nest in, in sort of way. Okay. On top of that, uh, the, the connection between you and this water sign spirit is going to heighten that connection so that you can make the move. Okay. Cause this is your next karmic partner that you're getting involved with. All right. You've passed the test. It's over. You've already graduated. It's time to let it go, uh, Taurus and move forward with this water sign. There's, there's a lot of promising, um, energy with this water sign. This is your next partner that is in alignment, uh, to take you maybe even the next 10, 15 years. Okay. That's definitely what I feel. So you definitely got a partner that's coming in Taurus, but it is contingent upon you letting go of an Aquarius or a Libra individual that you may be connected to that you've been with for a long time. Let me look at that. Yeah. Like I said, um, they may have a hard time letting you go, or you may have a hard time. It, they may have a hard time letting you go, especially if they're Libra or Gemini. Uh, but like I said, spirit is going to make it so impossible to stick with that situation that you have no choice but to cut ties with them. Okay. Because there's no growth. It's over. It's over. Clarify that. Um, King of swords, the five of pentacles and the wheel of fortune. And they could also be feeling like, um, left out in the cold. Okay. And maybe that's the thing that's tugging on your heart because you feel like this person is left out in the cold. But remember, uh, both of you guys are in a vertex right now. You cannot let, first of all, you're not responsible for someone else's happiness and you're not responsible to take care of somebody for the rest of their life. Okay. That's, that's not nobody's responsibility. Okay. And there's never going to be a good time or a, a easier time to let go of 
a situation that you've been involved in. Somebody's going to feel cheated in some sort of way. Okay. But you're being urged to move forward, Taurus. Okay. You're being urged to move forward, especially with this Wheel of Fortune. Clarify the wheel. The Ten of Swords. Three, yeah, they're going to, I'm telling you, it, listen, it's easier to just tell this person, listen, I love you. We've been together for umpteen years, but at this point I have to move forward because we're not growing with each other. We're not growing with one another. If you guys have kids together, then, you know, figure out a way that you could take care of the kids, co-parent together. But the relationship sense, you have to let this go. Like I said, if not, they are going to create an obstacle course to where it's going to hurt um, maybe that King of Swords even worse than you've already done so, okay? Because um, you've probably already been hurting this person and there's a lot of tears there. They, they already feel unsupported by you. But just encourage this King of Swords that if they can let this go, that they'll also get another karmic soulmate, okay? Spirit is not one-sided. They usually kill two birds with one stone. But it kind of seems to me that the person that's having the hardest time moving forward is the... Um, King of Swords, and maybe because at this moment they don't see a, a secondary person in sight. And the reason being is because a spirit don't like you to rebound. They don't want to create codependency in you. Um, so if you are very codependent or feel like you need somebody uh, to complete you or to help you, okay, especially if it's Libra, because Libra uh, comes across as very naive and very weak at times, okay, they have a hard time. Um, moving forward, especially once they get comfortable to being with somebody for a long time, they always need something else to attach their self to or to grow addicted to. Okay. And spirit is trying to urge them that no, you have to be woman enough or man enough to stand on your own two feet and let go of this person. Because at this point now you are creating, um, I can't say karmic energy is you're, you're creating discord because you're not moving according to the plan of the universe. Okay. Clarify the Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. The Sun. Tell me more. The Seven of Cups. And the Knight of Pentacles. I kind of get the sense that with this one, I, I feel like there's those of you Taurus that um, somebody owes you money or you owe someone else money. Okay. Uh, it, it looks to me like maybe you bit off more than you can chew when it comes down to finances. All right. Um, and when it comes down to business, a lot of you may be suffering in your work right now, employment. And I'm telling you why you're suffering. You're suffering in your work and employment because you're not moving according to the universe. You're trying to move outside of them. Okay. So like I said, you have someone in your life where it's, it's, it's at a dead end. Now at this point, you're beginning to carry dead weight. So when that happens, like I said, spirit will shake up your life. Okay. If you have a hard time detaching from a partner that's no longer healthy for you, then they will take your money from you, take your business. You may come become unemployed. You have different issues that's going to pop off in, you know, in your life to where they're letting you know, I said, this thing is over. Okay. Oh, you don't want to let it go. Okay. Well, I'll take you down to absolutely nothing. Okay. And that's how, that's how spirit is. Okay. We have karmic debts that we have to feel. It's not just us down here, just making loads of money and, and just being happy, having a perfect career. You have to pay for everything that you have in life. Okay. That's where the karma comes from. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what your Oracle card says. Cause that's like very set in stone. And I can't even get around that. Okay. Oh. What's the message for Taurus? Intimacy. Thirty-five. All right. Your vulnerability is the key to your growing spirituality. Now is the time to share yourself openly without pretense or defensiveness. Let down the barriers that held you apart from another, from the divine, from the world, and let yourself be held by the experiences of your life without needing to defend against them. 
Expect nothing and be open to receive everything. Your vulnerability is your way forward now. You are learning that you have enough strength to truly surrender. You are brave enough to allow yourself to be truly lived by the divine. The message of this oracle is that you have recently opened yourself up in new ways to meet the world and your loved ones or are considering doing so in order to share something of yourself with another. Do it. You are ready to be seen and receive more than ever before. And the message is becoming one, allowing all that is both within and without to blend like a wave meeting the shore. Each aspect of who you are is part of a grandeur whole and in truth, yet greater still to know myself is to know you, whether I look in your eyes or touch your lips or hold, hold your hands or bathe in the warmth of our embrace. Okay. That's for you, Taurus. And that a water sign, whoever that water sign is. Okay. Like I said, that's not for you in this Aquarius or Libra. This is over. All right. This, this needs to go. Okay. You have a divine purpose that's calling on you. You have a divine partner that's trying to get in a karmic soulmate at that. And it's time to uh, release, release your ex. Okay. I love you much until next time. Take advantage of up to the minute. Um, hit me up at all seeing uh, tarot at gmail.com. Like, share, comment below, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit your notification button. And until next time, thank you so much, Taurus.